What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Farms of Dope, babe. Hashtag Farms of Dope. Today, we've got 28 PC mods in testing. We've got 18 console mods in testing. Giants have another new blog. SMI Modding announced the release date of their next mod. 40 Modding's bringing a new brand to consoles. A-Dub Modding's got a new combine. Plus, Custom Modding are finishing the John Deere 4940. Let's check it out. In testing for PC, we have the Bednar Press Pack. Brick Fence and Gates. Farming Ball Stadium. Fent Farmer 300 CI, Fill Level Warning, Herbicide Tank, Hot 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 Better Lights, HTZ 17221, The Hot Egg 1260E, It's Finally in Testing, NO Elite 270, La Campaign EBN 15, Lizard NO 12, Lizard Wheels Pack, An Update to Maze Plus, Maze Plus CCM Extension Update, Maze Plus Forge Extension Update, Mandem KUS 30, Mashio Lelio Vario Pack, New Holland TX 66, Polish Sheds, Caesars Geo North Carolina, Caesars Geo South Carolina, Seabells, Strauman Terrafitas CFS 4601DO, Technosema BA 200SP, Terminal Gentle, Toe, what is this? And the Ursus C55 Pack. In testing for console, we have the Bedner Ferdy Box FB3000, Case IH AFS Connect Magnum, Class Mega Pack, it's back again. <laughs> Class Roland 250 Roto Cut, Cow's Barn Old, Goran Granoder Super 5M, Homer Slurry Pack, Horse Titan 34UW, Horse Stable, John Deere 948L2, Little Norton, Lizard Haytail, Lizard Reach Mower, New Bales, New Holland W170C, Old Brick House, Old Cultivator, and Placeable Ruins House Pack. Well, that being said, we still have 107 mods sitting waiting to be tested. The current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is down to four work days. Today, Giant release their next blog in collaboration with the Cavernland Group. They say there are many farming simulator fans that work at the Cavernland Group, and today we get to meet Andres and hear his impressions of the new Cavernland of Icon Equipment Pack DLC and how he used Farm Sim for educational purposes when starting his new job way back in the day. Of course, if you want to check out the blog, I will have a link in the description below. SMI modding team teased and confirmed that the Intergreen ILF S1500 will be released this Saturday on the in-game mod hub for all platforms. Very rarely do we get a con confirmed release date for a mod. This may have only happened two or three times a year, if that. So this is going to be a very special release. I want to thank SMI Modding for sharing my pre-release picks on Facebook of the mod yesterday, and I have been granted early access to the mod as well, so I'm going to be showing that mod off in detail, as well as answering your questions about it in today's live stream. 40 Modding has released an update to the Keenan Mech Fiber 365 feeder wagon. The update includes new custom sounds, mixing of them, new custom sounds of the opening lid, new custom discharge shoe sounds, improved feeding animations, new wear and dirt textures, console compatibility. The update for this has been sent off to Giants for release as a Keenan brand. They got permission. Also, additional minor fixes. They also go on to say if you have any issues to let them know, and the download link can be found on their Facebook page for PC players. You know where to find it. A-Dub Modding continues his daily release of teasers for upcoming mods and fact sheets. Today, we get to see the upcoming Sempa Rasalu Kamiya C6, which is coming over from previous farming simulator games. This was lots of people's first introduction to combines in the FS world, myself included, so I know a lot of you guys are going to be happy to see this coming back. We also get fact sheets for it and a few other things as well. This is going to cost you $100,000, has a horsepower range from 185 to 240, also holds 4,200 liters, has a top speed of 25 kilometers per hour or around 18 miles per hour, works best with the C6 Draper head and has one extra engine configuration and five different tire configurations. Speaking of the header, here it is, the C6 Draper. This is going to cost you $20,400, requires 40 horsepower, and has a working width of 4.2 meters at 10 kilometers per hour or 6 miles per hour, and this works best with the SR Comia C6 Combine. Next, from the old Gen Massey pack, we have the MF114 Bell Trailer. This is going to cost you between $6,500 and $7,000 and has a rail configuration. And lastly, the MF Fork Pallet Fork. This is going to cost you 600 bucks and will work with any front loader attacher. As was mentioned yesterday, A-Dub is done with the Massey Ferguson old generation pack and is doing some final adjustments right now before sending it off for the first stage of testing. And lastly today, custom modding updates us on the progress of the John Deere 4940 self-propelled sprayer, which has been sitting at around 75% done for a while now. They say sorry for the inactivity on the mod, they lost focus and they didn't feel like working on it, but they know this is something that everyone really wants. 
And they say they promise to do their best to finish the mod as soon as possible. Thank you, Custom Modding, for your hard work and dedication and to the community and to modding. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. There's no release dates for mods unless otherwise mentioned, as was before, so myself nor anyone else knows when all but one <laughs> mod is coming out. If I didn't talk about something that you're interested in, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording, so make sure you stay tuned to the channel for up-to-date information on everything going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel, try to go ahead fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. Also, live stream today. Get hype. All being said, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace. You ever just sit around and make funny faces like... <laughs>